Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. So today we will see the sample uh, uh, resume for DevOps for freshers and people who are seeking internship. So yeah, let's go. Don't mention uh, this in your headline like DevOps engineer resume. No, never. Okay, just put your name. You can instead of this, you should either you can give your name over here. You know uh just put your name like my name is Bakshi. okay so that gives a good impression uh it highlights your name then you know give your email give your phone number give your linkedin id give your github uh id after that you know and give the clickable link so that you know if a person clicks on it, it it gets redirected to the page of linkedin or github then the first should be the career objective career objective uh career objective like you can copy from here or you know you can edit you can uh, do some changes uh, like motivated and detail oriented graduate with strong knowledge of cloud computing ci cd pipelines and automation tools according to your benefit and your skills and knowledge you can edit uh, for sure seeking an entry-level devops engineer cloud engineer or sre roles to apply skills in cloud infrastructure containerization continuous delivery while contributing to efficient software delivery processes why i have kept as a slash for all these roles because as a fresher we should not be confined that you know uh seeing the market now that uh uh, we want the uh, role for this we should be open for two three roles so that's why i have put like this but if you want that uh, you are only open to any specific role you want uh, your uh, job your domain in that role only you are free, you can mention that only there is not a problem okay then comes the technical skills so it's very nice that you know and generally people do nowadays like i have uh, i have seen resumes uh, where people they they will have this section where they clearly mention like cloud platform then what all tools they know in cloud uh, then what all ci cd tools they know. so that's a very a uh, nice uh, you know description that it clearly highlights okay in cloud platform you, in aws you know these these things services azure you know basic gcp like i have added everything but of course you can remove if you uh have no uh, if you are not inclined to anything you can uh, you know remove that thing then ci cd tools like jenkins of course i've included github action gitlab ci cd but in the tool you are comfortable in you can mention that then the configuration management then containerization and orchestration of course you can mention in whatever tool you or in whatever service you are uh, you know you have knowledge and uh, you you are okay if they ask you questions you are able to answer it version control scripting languages and please mention basic like if if you are not comfortable for any uh, whatever you have mentioned over here your in your technical skills you are not comfortable if they go very deep so just mention that you are still in a learning phase or you know you uh, you are at a beginner level so that will be uh, you know that already sets the ground uh then monitoring tools operating system bull tools so that you can mention after that you know your project because as a fresher you must have made some projects something would you would have done and uh, it's good that you show that your project was on devops uh so that will give a good impression that this was my project devops automate automation project and it was my college final year project in which what i did i set up a cicd pipeline use jenkins for a sample java application 
uh, I have made many videos regarding that. You can pick if you want uh, any project to be added and you don't have, you can pick that uh, and you know, you can add that in GitHub and you can add in your resume as well. Then set up a CI CD pipeline using Jenkins for a sample Java application, automated build tests and deployment using Docker and Kubernetes on AWS, and configured monitoring with Prometheus and Grafana. Okay. Uh, so try to, you know, uh, have uh, uh, try uh, uh, doing this project on your own it's it will not take much you know time uh in if you are consistent you'll be able to complete it i'm pretty sure uh so try to uh, do one project and show it in your uh, resume then uh then the uh, then if you have done any internship you can mention that and for how much time that internship was if you haven't done internship that's also fine it's not mandatory to mention the internship you can mention two three projects like one project you have mentioned that you have uh, deployed a java application second project you can mention that you have deployed a python application third app a third project you can mention that you have pro, you know you have a uh, written a script for provisioning the infrastructure uh, a terraform script so these all things you can mention uh, as a project if you haven't done internship that's also fine so if you have done internship mention that and what all you have like deployed application on aws ec2 and configured s3 buckets for storage use ansible playbook assistant setting up github action pipeline for deployment so that's that all will summarize your academic projects and internships if you are as i said if internships are not there you can uh, you try to include as many projects you can now uh, your education uh, you uh, it's not that i have just taken btech but if you have done be or you know uh, bca anything you mentioned that and uh, when you are expecting that it, your course will get over that also you should mention and you can this reference you can take also if you are going for to apply for any internship like if uh, anyone um, any of my viewer who is in fourth year and they are looking for internship you can take the reference of this for internships too and then you know certifications if you have done any or you know even your big uh, your courses like udemy courses if i have if you haven't done any uh you know certified uh, certifications related to aws resort it's fine mention any course if you have done from udemy coursera or any place that's also that also works uh and then if you want to give additional information like strong problem solving and debugging skill active contributor to open source devops project on github completed hackathon project involving automated deployment of web app using terraform plus aws so you can include these details if you have done something like this or you know uh many people were you know uh, there are uh, many kinds of hackathon going uh, hackathon uh, they take place in colleges and you know even hackathon is um, organized uh, so you uh, you can uh, mention specifically those details so that will be uh, uh, that will create a good impact so yeah all the content i will give in description also so you can refer things from there so that's all all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye